what's going on everybody and welcome to your 13th jQuery tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be looking at the event handler CSS now the CSS event handler allows your jQuery code to set read or modify your elements CSS so how do we use that I'll show you now let's create a div ID with CSS demo let's apply some styles to it some inline styles background red color uh, we don't need color width 100 per 100 pixel height 100 pixel box shadow let's say 0 0 10 pixel black and I hope you are familiar with these CSS properties because we'll be using them a lot in the jQuery series so let's move forward and let's set opacity to 0 0.5 okay so now we have some CSS applied to this and now let's retrieve the CSS down here so or instead of typing everything let's do a thing let's create a con uh, kind of loop down here with setting the CSS properties as and this would be the array and we would fill this with whatever properties we want to retrieve for example I would like to have the background width then we have the height then we have the box shadow and make sure you put the names exactly you do in the CSS because the CSS event method in jQuery would accept the exact same CSS names as you have put down here for styling the element so let's go ahead and use for i equals 0 i is less than CSS properties dot length i plus plus so now okay so we have the CSS let's create a variable x which would store the particular CSS value CSS and we'll say CSS properties i now let's console log x of this div is CSS properties i or basically x so what we are doing here is and we'd go with CSS properties i down here sorry about that so what we are doing here is in the first do what would happen that CSS uh, this X would be CSS demo dot CSS background now we would have red or basically the RGB value of this red color in this variable X and we'll console log the background of this div is the RGB value of red and let's see what happens and here we have our browser let's refresh this and we have got a div and we have got all these properties listed so let's see background of this div is RGB and we have this thing down here I'll explain what this means then we have width of this div as 100 pixel height of this div as 100 pixels then box shadow of this, this div is this much uh, and you should know that colors are automatically converted into RGB values when you are printing them so opacity of this div is 0 0.5 and you can cross check with all these values so about this long string down here what does that mean is in CSS if you know then using background we could apply a color as well a URL a image of background as well and a kind of gradient or linear gradient as well so to retrieve the color only and just uh, not using this value because we don't need the string to retrieve only this color what we'll do is we'll retrieve background color instead of background so that's how you set a background color in your CSS and that's how we'll, we'll retrieve this color in the jQuery so let's refresh this and now we get background color of this div is this RGB value which stands for red color so this was a tutorial on setting or basically getting the CSS values of the element and similarly we could do 
we could basically set the CSS value of an element as well and so do uh, let's see by take an example let's basically remove this line so let's say I want to modify the background color of this div so I'll supply background because that's what we are using down here and I'll, in the second argument I'll supply the value I'm using to replace with the original value so let's see let's refresh this and as you can see the color is immediately changed to yellow in the DOM so the first argument would be the property you want to modify of CSS element and the second uh, argument would be the value you want to assign to that property so this is how you set a value to a element element CSS basically and this was a tutorial upon setting and getting CSS values and I'll see you then in the next tutorial and we'll be discussing some more awesome stuff about jQuery in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my videos